If you're an Android user like me, you have hoped for an AirTag-like device, and this may be it. I bought the Eufy Smart Track Link to put it through its paces in three different challenges to find out can we finally use a Find My Device with an Android phone. Now that we've unboxed, we can see we've got 35 grams of cardboard, nine grams of single-use plastic, and the unit itself comes in at nine grams. Dude, it sounds like a Tamagotchi. Ooh, Tracker O1. It's at 100% for ages. Oh, bro, you don't freaking say. So the firmware update failed twice, and on the third time, I just clicked skip, and it actually had worked. All right, challenge one. Charles is gonna hide this in the house, and we'll try and find it. So it should be making noise. Oh, I think I can hear it this way. Oh, it's under Darth Vader. I wonder if we can go louder. So is that for my keys with a beep, big whoop, that stuff's been out for ages. But what other features does this have? The device itself communicates via Bluetooth to nearby phones, so you can get left behind alerts if you leave signal range. This is great for essentials like an EpiPen or an Asso Puffer, which you can't afford to leave at home. Reverse tracking with Find My Phone allows you to double press the button and play bingo on your phone. It doesn't matter if your phone is on silent as long as it's within signal range of the tracker. If you end up losing the tracker, you can put it into lost mode and people can scan the QR code on the back of the device. This will show up any personal info that you set within the Eufy app. There's no NFC like AirTags, but if you prefer that feature, you can buy a $1 NFC sticker and stick it over the QR code. It's also worth noting that there's no Apple U1 chip inside like on an AirTag, so you're not gonna get a precision finding compass to tell you how far away something is, but in the Eufy security app, you will get like a hotter, colder based feedback, no doubt based on the Bluetooth signal strength of the tracker. There is, however, a feature it has over AirTags, and that's the ability to share its location with family and friends within the Eufy Security app. Now, the Eufy Smart Track Link is IPX4 water resistant rated, which is great news for outdoor use on a bike. Now, when it comes to AirTags, since they're more popular, there's many mounting options out there, like hidden in bells or hidden in reflectors on the back of a bike, or even inside a tubeless tube. It's getting crazy. So I thought I might try and 3D print and create a waterproof mount for the tag. But then I thought, well, it's got a hole. So I can just zip tie to the seat and do our bike test. So I've given Brad a 10 minute start to ride anywhere in town and then I'm going to connect up the Find My app on my iPad and see where he is. Okay, so it was last seen, oh now it's just updated, it's at 16 Tramsways Avenue. He's in that direction. Alright. Oh mate, you're in trouble now. And what's impressive about this is he hasn't got an iPhone, so this is other people's phones updating the network to say where my bike is. Alright, Tramways, he's in the area where the trams were. Alright, let's use the Android app now. Okay, so I'm not within 100 meters yet because my phone hasn't got reception of him. There's a bike, not my bike. There's a side street. Down there. Let's check back on the iPad. Alright, still says the same spot. There's no update of location. Come on. That was 19 minutes ago. Oh, please be an update. Oh, we've got an update. Alright, let's drive. <laughs> Dude, this is actually fun. This is like a treasure hunt. Oh, I found him. There he is. Did you ride through this back street or something? I was in the back street not too long ago. There was a delivery man parked here for about a minute. There yeah. You yeah, so this is a delivery dude. Mate, that works so good on my seat. Now, some other use cases would be checked luggage on an airline if they lose it or on your car. If someone flogs it, you can just call the coppers and be like, it's in this section of town. But you might also be thinking, Cam, you used an iPad. You didn't only use your Android. That's cheating. Well, the reason I didn't only use the Android app is because it only shows that the tracker was last seen by my phone. So if I park my bike somewhere and I leave and someone nicks it and I come back, the Android app is just going to say, well, your bike was last here. And we're like, no shit, Sherlock. That's where I left my bike and it's not here anymore. This tracker doesn't update the location wherever it is from other phones like the Find My Network. The Android app only just shows me where it last was. So it's useful if I lose something in a location, but not if something's stolen. And so to use the power of the Apple Find My Network, I wanted to know if I could leave my iPad at home and then take the tracker with me with my Android phone and not have it set off the separated from owner stalker alerts accidentally on nearby iPhones. 
And this is a very new problem that I haven't come across before because there's no other tracker tag on the market that allows you to pair with an Android phone for general app capabilities, as well as the Apple Find My Network on an iPad at the same time. Every tracker tag is either Android or iOS. I had a lot of issues when it came to setting up with the iPad Pro. I would press and hold to initiate pairing, it'll pop up in the Apple Find My app, and then it would fail to set up. Why won't this iPad work? I spent over an hour troubleshooting the pairing until I realized it was actually a hardware fault. The little tab on the inside had somehow pushed down enough that it wasn't connecting with the battery unless I was squeezing the device for pairing. So the second I let go, it just cut power to the device. So I just manually bent that little tab up uh, and it's good to go now. It was here that I realized that Apple's chucked another ecosystem wall in the way of Android users. So I logged into the iCloud website through a browser on my Android phone and it only shows the Find My location for my iPad. The tracker won't show up, but in the Find My app on the iPad, it shows where the tracker is. Mm. But all that may not even matter if you can't even buy this thing in Australia and most likely other countries. If you crack one of these open, you're gonna find a replaceable CR2032 Queen battery that lasts for about one year of use. Great as replaceable, crap they didn't just throw a screw on the back. Simply because new laws came into play mid this year in Australia around Queen batteries due to the serious injury or even death when ingested by children. And with the amount of parents that I see giving their babies keys to jingle and play with, it's extremely concerning knowing that the battery inside is just a simple pop away from falling out, relying solely on the little plastic teeth for the life of the product. Even air tags were pulled from Australian shelves promptly after release with suspicion being based on battery safety standards. A spokesperson for Apple stated that air tags are designed to meet international child safety standards, including those in Australia, by requiring a two-step push and turn mechanism to access the user replaceable battery. And the other main international safety requirement states that battery compartments are to be secured with a screw or similar fastener and not accessible without a tool. And so to say that the back door can be removed with a single pry method without tools is incredibly disappointing. And even Yuffie themselves couldn't tell me any current child safe standards that this meets. Simply just chuck a screw in the back of the design. That would have solved that problem. Anyway, what if I'm not gonna use it around kids? If I'm gonna chuck it on my bike or car? Well, can I still use this thing without setting off those alarms on the Apple Find My system? Apple's method of combating unwanted tracking is to alert nearby iPhone users of an Find My tag that's away from their owner's device. And so you can see my concern, right? I've got my Find My device with my Android phone away from my iPad, which means nearby iPhones might be detecting it as a stalking device. If I'm on public transport sitting next to somebody, will this start alerting them that the tracker is not with the owner? Okay, so I just turned off my phone, so the tracker in 10 minutes time should start to broadcast, it is no longer with me. We're going to see how long it takes for my wife's iPhone to alert us. Really odd feeling right now to think that I'm being tracked. Uh, 6 minutes 45, we'll get some road works, there's no alert yet. We have passed the 10 minute mark and on the iPhone there is no notification of a tracker following us. I'm currently not being told that we're being tracked, which is... A little bit sus. So I was wrong with my initial understanding of what the 10 minute mark meant. So Apple have stated that after 10 minutes, you should be able to open up the Tracker Detect app on Android and scan and locate any air tags that have been separated from their users. And you could also use the Find My app on the iPhone. On a side note, the Tracker Detect app from Apple for Android won't automatically alert you if a tracker is following you. Thankfully, someone else out there has made another app called AirGuard that's also free that'll give you alerts and warnings if a tag is following you. And so I got my brother to set up both apps on his phone before he nicked off my bike to see if the tracker would get flagged. What'd you get? So I did a scan, it's an unknown, unknown tag. So there was a UFI tracker nearby. And then I went to the other app. Um, so there was a from my device really close to me. Opened up the notification, gave me detail. There's a tracker following me for the last 30 minutes. I ventured along here, I rode for a while, did some zigzags, then pinged over here when I was parked. So yeah, AirGuard absolutely killed it on Android, but what about on iPhone? Can we avoid those false positives? Well, from what I can read online, if they find my device is separated from a Apple product, like the phone or the iPad, for more than eight to 24 hours, it will then start to begin making those alerts. Since my wife is an iPhone user, I was able to attach the smart track link to her keychain. My wife's iPhone got the alert saying that she's being followed by an unknown tracker. 
So we've confirmed the alert happens when the tag's away from both of my devices, but what if I keep it with my Android away from the iPad? Well, I jumped on a mini bus with a bunch of colleagues that have iPhones and headed to Melbourne. Over 36 hours later, after being separated from the iPad at home and traveling with my Android phone in range of the tracker, no iPhone user reported getting an alert of an unknown tracker, which means you can suppress the alerts by using your Android phone with this device. And so after all that testing, I'm comfortable enough using this tag with my Android phone with the Eufy security app on the daily, whilst also having my iPad paired to it through the Find My network as a backup solution if something gets nicked. On a side note, it does mean you've only got 24 hours if someone pinches your stuff to be able to find it before they get a notification saying that you're tracking their location. So be wise with that one. I have seen a card version of the Smart Track link appear online. Not sure if that's officially going to be released, but if you prefer the wallet style over the fob style, keep your eye out. Now, for me to get this in Australia to buy from Amazon US, the retail price is $19.99 US dollars per unit. I had to pay $16.50 US for shipping and $3.65 for import taxes, giving us a total of $40.14 US. Far out, bro. That's a lot of dosh. But if you're in the US paying retail off the shelf, it is cheaper than an AirTag that comes in at 29 bucks. Just remember, it hasn't got that U1 chip, so there's no precision finding that you get on the air tags. But yeah, for me, super pricey option to get in at $61.90 Australian. If you appreciate my efforts, though, of doing a review on this, subscribe down below, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you in the next one.